Okay, um, I just want to make a commentary. I'm, I guess, the Tenderloin, Polk, and Eddie. Uh, there's plenty of alleys around here where you could film people doing drugs at your own risk. You know, you can do it. I mean, I'm pretty sly. But, um, you know, they're shooting up. They're people. Different levels of uh, insanity. <laughs> Um, or you could just walk, walk down the road, walking down the road. Is that cool? Thank you. So, um, yeah, you can, uh, you can definitely film whoever you want, <clears throat> but, um, you know, if you live in South of market, if you live in the Tenderloin, you can have the, the opinion that it shouldn't be this way. And you're right. But <laughs> this is this is America. Our freedoms have you know consequences, and you know rule of law could be you know imposed. But as far as I remember, there's always been chaos and tenderloin and uh, crack. I think even before that, when I was a really young kid, I remember coming, to, well, going to the doctors, uh, not you know with my grandparents medical building down the way and uh there was this drunk guy he just slammed just jumped the kind of just popped up somewhere started screaming on the in front of the station wagon hood and i'm like i'm a kid i'm like what the hell and it's like yeah let's go to san francisco again it just was alcohol the the the, the greatest generation the world war ii generation some of those people were degenerates too they just happen to do things, you know, more alcohol than, uh, than, you know, other drugs that are more popular now. But you can definitely film things. You can definitely, uh, this hotel, there's usually a bunch of people here doing, they, they can move around the, the, the crew. Looks like there's some pressure washing down here. Is that towards the federal building or did I pass that? Oh, over there, that's where it is, okay. Anyway, you can take pictures and video, and things are not going to change that much. You know, it's it's you can like point out someone bent over hair on a heroin trip, but I don't know. I just think it's kind of like if you don't like it, move. At this point, and I know people hate hearing that, but look, you're not going to fight this. They keep coming. They keep making more of them. Look how old that kid is. How old is he? 22? 24? Maybe he had a job at one time. Who knows? You know, look at this person. They're just going to continue coming forever. <clears throat> when some die, there's new ones coming. So I do make videos or I do post about this stuff, but... I think at one point it becomes a little bit inhumane to start to film people constantly or make, you know, comments about how, you know, messed up they are. And, you know, it's just insensitive. And there's insensitive people, I get it. They're just, they're, you know, movers and shakers. I always want to go to this freaking place. I want to come in here one day. Norton's, Emperor Norton's. I got to go there one day. Properly dressed, of course. Um... But you know it's it's a bit insensitive just to comment on these these dying people, you know. So I know some of them also do things to help, but they just want a better city. And but look, some areas is it worth the fight? You know what I mean? Are you gonna get? Is this gonna become beautified? Never, 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 never. You'll get it gentrified, but never beautified. And I don't know. It's just. This is where they come. This is where they come. So um, that's my commentary as I filmed <laughs> people. I didn't go into the heart of it, but there's always something interesting and exciting in San Francisco. You just have to learn to love it. Learn to love urine soak streets. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I got for this one. There's more action down the road.